If you take a closer look at many of the millionaires and billionaires of the world, you'll see a striking resemblance in their daily habits as well as the things that they prioritize. All millionaires had to start somewhere, so if we look at the things that they do, this can give us clues as to how we can emulate their success. I want each and every person that's watching this video to one day become a millionaire, multi-millionaire, or even billionaire. The key is to just do things that rich people do, and this will increase your chances 10, 100, or even a thousand fold. Millionaires have a lot of daily rituals, which when done over the course of many years, leads to better health, mindset, productivity, relationships, and then consequently wealth. So by the end of this video, you will have an in-depth look at eight millionaire habits that will propel you to success. So don't skip out on any of them, take notes, and let's get started. So the first millionaire habit is creating multiple streams of income. Almost all millionaires have at least three streams of income. And a lot of people don't know this, but there are two types of income, active income and passive income. Active income is when you're trading your time for money. So this can be working any nine to five job, being a consultant, being a real estate agent, the list goes on. On the other hand, passive income is when you're not trading your time for money. And this can be things like real estate investing, affiliate marketing, investing in stocks, and the list goes on. Ultimately, we wanna have both of these types of income. We've seen with this pandemic that it's super important not to put all your eggs in one basket because if your main job's not doing so well, then you don't have any other revenues coming in to support yourself. The only way to truly become rich is to have passive income because these people are not only rich in money, they're also rich in time. So that's why I believe that the ultimate goal for most people is to build multiple sources of income, both active and passive. Though I'm not a millionaire yet, I know I will be soon, and this is in large part due to the multiple sources of income that I have been able to generate. I made a YouTube video about my 10 current streams of income, so if you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. So the takeaway here is start building a side hustle, start building other sources of income, and learn to grow your money with investments. Ultimately, this is the fastest way for a lot of people to become wealthy. The number two millionaire habit is spending time with people who push you and drive you towards success. It is so important to create relationships with people that you aspire to be like. So over the years, I've really been trying to do this, finding people who are entrepreneurs, who are go-getters, hustlers, and people who think outside of the box that can really push me. Note that this does not mean they have to have a lot of money. They just need to have a positive influence on your life. Kick out all the people who are negative and who bring you down. Don't hang out with losers because if you hang out with five losers, you're going to become the sixth loser. The people that you spend the most time with will have a drastic impact on your quality of life and also on the trajectory of your life. So that's why it's so important to actively seek out relationships with other people. If you're currently working at a job where you have to interact with a lot of people, take advantage of that. Try and build relationships, try and stay in touch because you never know what those relationships and connections will do for you later on. That's what friends are for. So the more friends you have, the more opportunities you'll see. Always be caring, always be interested in what they have to say. And of course, always be nice to other people. A lot of my early success was because of people that I stayed in touch with and who ultimately helped me out or gave me business. So the takeaway here is you really want to be able to curate the types of friends that you have. Stop hanging out with losers or people who just don't push you to become better and find those people that will be the support system that you need. Okay, my third millionaire habit is reading for self-improvement and this will help you think big. Guys, I cannot stress how important it is to read every single day. Bill Gates reads 50 books a year. Mark Cuban reads three hours per day. And overall, 88% of millionaires spend at least 30 minutes per day on self-improvement or self-education. After I started reading, I saw huge increases in my income and my trajectory for becoming a millionaire became a lot faster. I always tell people that reading is like having a mentor for 10 or $20. Whatever the price of the book or the audiobook, it's like having a person who specialized in their field, who took the time to write a book, actually share their insights and strategies with you. It is the best bang for your buck investment that you could ever make on yourself. And reading not only expands your knowledge, it also expands your mind. I believe that all people are born with a somewhat limited mind, and that's why it's so important to expand it by reading. Most people go through life with limited beliefs of what's possible and what they're capable of. In other words, they will just become average in terms of success. When you read every day, your mind just becomes so much bigger and better, and you'll see a noticeable improvement in what you know you can do. You'll have more confidence, you'll have more insight, you'll have more knowledge. All these things will be positively affected if you read more. And if you say you don't have time to read, that's just BS. I guarantee you, you can find at least 30 minutes to read every single day and your schedule won't be affected. If you're driving, you can listen to audiobooks or podcasts and you can even use reading as a good work break. Whatever it is, set aside some time for reading every day and you'll thank yourself. Okay, my fourth millionaire habit is taking cold showers. And this seems trivial, but it's actually helped me so much. Let's first start off with the benefits of taking cold showers. When you take a cold shower, this will boost the number of chemicals in your brain that make you happy. It will also improve your immune system as well as your physical 
physical and mental wellness. You might be thinking like, uh, how could this boost the chemicals in your brain to make you more happy? Well, I say the easiest scientific experiment you can do to test this theory out is to just take a cold shower and see how you feel at the end. You'll feel energized, you'll feel more awake, and you'll have a really clear state of mind. It's an amazing feeling and I want you guys to try it out and I do think you will become addicted to it. If you think that mental roadblock of getting in cold water is too big, then what I recommend doing is first taking a normal shower and then at the very end for the last 30 seconds to a minute, turn the water completely cold. You'll still get many of the benefits, but it's a lot easier to do. And it's actually what I personally do. If you can get over that mental roadblock, I guarantee you that you'll be able to get over other roadblocks in your life. How you do one thing is how you do everything. So even for something as trivial as taking cold showers, I know that this will positively impact other aspects of your life as well. If you try cold showers in the morning, I guarantee you, you'll become a morning person. And this brings me to my next point, my fifth millionaire habit, which is creating a morning routine. A large proportion of millionaires wake up early and have a morning routine. And if we delve into why this is the case, it seems obvious. It gives you more productive hours in the day, it gets your day started strong and gives you momentum to get through the tough day ahead. Now, this doesn't mean that you can just wake up early and have a great morning. In order to reap the benefits of waking up early, you have to have a morning routine to supplement it. Honestly, I think the best way to start this is to do it the night before. Create a morning routine on your calendar and make it detailed, make it hour by hour, what you wanna do in the morning. It's extremely important to put things that you look forward to because this makes it so that it's a lot easier to wake up. You really cannot put a dollar value on a good morning routine. It's just absolutely essential. Since I've started implementing a morning routine of my own about one year ago, I've seen huge effects on my mentality, work, and wealth. And guys, another really important thing is that having a morning routine gives structure to your morning. When you have structure in the morning and when you actually do the things that you say you're gonna do in the morning, this gives you a huge boost in confidence. And that confidence is gonna carry on through the day and affect how you do your work. So guys, try this out, make a morning routine. It doesn't have to be that complicated. And I guarantee you that you'll enjoy your mornings and become a lot more productive in your day. All right, six millionaire habit is to have a vision board. And if you don't know what a vision board is, it's basically a board or anything that you put on your wall that you see every day where you list your dreams and your goals either with words or with pictures. So I made my own vision board about seven or eight months ago and on there I put my KPIs, the numbers I want to hit for the year, as well as pictures of things that I wanted in my life. One of those things was a BMW i8 Roadster and within a few weeks of putting that vision board on the wall, I actually decided to make that dream a reality and found my dream i8 roadster when i made that vision board i had no plans on getting that car that fast but just the act of seeing that car on my vision board every single day it really ignited a flame in me and honestly i think that's the reason why i was able to get that car so fast the more you see it the more you'll believe it and the more little things you'll do every single day in order to make that dream or goal a reality having a vision board also makes you a lot more accountable if you put your goals onto a board and it's there for everyone to see, it's there for yourself to see each and every day, then yeah, of course you're gonna want to meet that goal because if you don't, then that's a little bit embarrassing and it's like you let yourself down a bit. It's that extra kick that every entrepreneur or successful person needs in their life. And I always say that action is the reason why most people are just average. Most people have really great ideas, but the fact is that most people will not execute and carry out those good ideas. The money and the wealth is in the execution. So guys, try it out. Like buy any type of board, print out your goals uh, for the year, print out a bunch of pictures of things that you want. It can be a nice car, it can be a nice house, and just see how it affects you. Every day you'll see that board on the wall, and I guarantee you having those goals up there will make you reach them faster. Okay, the seventh millionaire habit is exercise, and this is a really important one. So check out this really interesting study. Psychology Today did a study with 5,042 male twins, and what they looked at was their 15-year income. They found that physically active men made 14 to 17% more income than their less active twins. Why? Well, I honestly think that exercise to lead to better performance at work, being more goal-oriented, and having better confidence. I honestly cannot think of one negative thing about exercising. So that's when you know it's really good to do. Rich people tend to exercise at least 30 minutes per day. It can be cardio, it can be lifting weights, it can be yoga, pretty much anything where it makes you move your body. This is a type of self-improvement, as if you take the time to actually work on and improve your body and health, you're more likely to do the same thing with your 
work, through relationships, and with your wealth building. I post about exercising as being a millionaire habit on TikTok all the time, and everyone's like, how can working out possibly make you a millionaire? You'll quickly learn that not everything millionaires do is directly contributing to their wealth. There are a lot of indirect things that people do on a day-to-day -day basis that help them create that wealth. And I do believe that exercise is for sure one of those. I mean, your body is like a machine and a well-oiled machine is going to beat out a lazy and slow machine any day of the week. I work out almost every day and I truly believe that it gives me a sort of unfair advantage in life. If only more people would exercise every single day and see the value behind exercising, then I think we would see a lot more people reach the success that they want. Number eight is giving value and your success really depends on this. Do you know how 99% of millionaires made their money? Well, it's by giving or creating value for other people. This can be solving a problem, having a service that removes a certain pain point, or creating a product that benefits people. If you focus on giving value, the money will come later on. Now, on a personal level, since I started focusing on giving value more, my personal income has exploded. It's a really powerful mindset. I mean, if you focus on giving value, then more people will be drawn to you and more money will be drawn to you as well. Well. Giving value brings you success in both your relationships and your wealth. Some people really get caught up in the competitive nature of doing business, but I think that's not the best way to do it. Instead, if you shift your mindset to a more giving and value driven approach, you will be repaid. Guys, here's the universal rule. To create wealth, you need to create value first. Focusing on making money first will work for some, but for most, that will ultimately detract them from becoming a millionaire. So I urge you guys, focus on giving value and that value will come back to you in the form of wealth. So there you have it. Those are eight millionaire habits that have completely changed my life. If you are a millionaire right now, you probably recognize a lot of these habits. If you're not, but are destined to become a millionaire, you'll likely see the value of each of these habits. Not only that, but you'll actually start to have these habits right away. Guys, the easiest way to success is to just emulate what successful people do. Look at people that are doing what you want to do and just do what they do. They actually did that themselves. They looked at people that they wanted to become and emulated their daily habits. I'm confident in these habits because not only do I see them working in other people, I see them working in my own personal life. I've only done a majority of these habits for the last year and this last year has been the greatest year of my life. My growth has absolutely exploded and I've seen so many new opportunities as a result. So I urge you guys, if you're still watching this, try these out. Your chances of success are very high because you've already dedicated a portion of your day to watching this video. I know you want it and I know you can do it. Like always you guys, the whole point of this channel is to give you value and to inspire you guys. If you found value in this video, make sure to share it with a friend who could benefit. And also like and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. Join my channel and I guarantee you I will add value to your life. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.